Nothing interesting has happened all day. So, why not? That glimmer in your eyes tells me I may actually be in for a fight. So what do you say? Will you test your strength against a tired old man? Sounds good to me. <laughs> down by a plucky upstart. Even at my age, it seems life has plenty of lessons left to teach. Well, that settles that. I'll be joining you, lad. My... Let's join forces. Call me Ryufan, and I join you as a humble man-at-arms. Listen here, lad. I've had a thought about a potential new recruit. Care to listen to an old man reminisce? Absolutely. Now, I once knew a lady who was an incredibly talented martial artist. Oh, yes. She lived down in the village of Dafan, not far from Haishan. Back in my day, we would spar on the regular, but I can't imagine age would have dulled her fists. If you like, I could introduce you. Just grant me the pleasure of accompanying you to Dafan sometime. Last I remember, the martial artist lives. Just grant me the pleasure of a cup. Aha! Good to see you. Hope you throw some. Well.
Let's get it done! Okie doke! Done here. Done. Not a hair out of place. The warrior's path has no end. This is where that friend of yours lives? That's right. Lady made quite a name for herself in the fighting world. It's been a dog's age since I've seen her, though, so... She'd be old as sin now, but don't worry. I'll know her when I see her. <laughs> Got fire, that one. Hello there, miss. Got time for an old man's question? If I must. We're looking for a friend of mine. Stella with the old fists. <laughs> She'd be up there in years. Lady by the name of Lamb. <laughs> Can't say as I do, Ryu. Oh, dear. But go on and take a look-see for yourself if you like. Ah, thank you, miss. Ah, oh, there's something about you I can't quite place. Have we met before? Oh, poppycock to that. Right. Very sorry. You have a good day now. That young lady. Hmm. Now, call me senile, but her face is ringing a lot of the old bells. <laughs> Memory is always the first thing to go. Ah! Oh, that's it! Uh, I remember! Noah, lad, we need to go talk to her again! Playing me for a fool like that. Why, I oughta. All right, lady, what's the big idea? Don't shout. You're scaring me. I finally remembered. You look exactly like Lamb did back in the day. And another thing, too. I don't know what you're playing at here, toots, but you gosh darn don't sound as young as you look. <laughs> Took you long enough to figure it out, Ryu Fan. <sighs> Maintaining that form does get wearisome. What? Did she just... shrink? Lamb's more than a martial artist, lad. She can do all sorts of spooky mumbo-jumbo. It's called calming one's spirit and vitalizing one's body, thank you. I find it brings back the vigor of my younger days. And you didn't even recognize me. I was having so much fun, I thought I'd stay that way for a bit. Ha! <laughs> you finally got the better of me and just had to rub it in, eh? Why, I oughta... Uh-uh-uh. Don't make me remind you that the last time we scuffled, I whooped your hiney and good. Oh, that's rich. There might have been a fluke here and there, but we both know that I won more matches total. I think you mean you hit the floor more times total. Uh, were you fine? Can we get to that other matter? Tagnamit! <clears throat> Lad here has something to ask you. Ah, uh, hmm. Ah, yes. Don't tell me. You must be the Alliance leader everyone's all in a tizzy about, no? 
You've got a good energy flow about you. And I gather you require my strength and experience. Damn right he does. I told him you'd bring the might of a hundred men. Oh, you weren't wrong. Clearly we can't leave responsibility for the world entirely in the hands of the young. Not just yet. And besides, Rio Fan, dear, if you've joined the fight, how can I possibly refuse? It's a pleasure to join your ranks, young man. I shall gather my whatnots and join you at your castle. Wow, the rune lenses really do have a radiance all their own. Bet I could make this little beaut shine even more, but I'd have to get my hands on a rune of... Hmm? What do you want? I'm busy, so could you come back later? Unless you happen to be carrying a rune of currents, in which case, step right up and let's talk. Need something? What's that, fella? You want me to join you? Hakugin, is that really you? Mio? The hell are you doing here? I thought you joined up with some militia. I did. Then things happened. Yeah? Well, ever since you farted out on your little warrior's journey, I've I scoured the land for a worthy opponent. And came up shorter than a gnome doing the limbo. It's you or no one, babe. Then I vote no one. There aren't enough lives in the world to save me when it comes to the way you spar. Come on now. That's no way to talk about the best friend slash rival who came all this way to find you. Best friends don't try to chop each other's heads off. Says you. <laughs> Anyway, word on the road is that you're at war with some empire or another. So let me float an idea by you. I'll help you out until your little conflict is resolved. But once it's done, you have to go one round with me. One round where I'm likely killed at the end. Which is what makes it fun! Yay! Also, don't try and pretend you're not into it. I see your eye. 
It's gleaming all over the place. I suppose I have learned my share of lessons at the edge of mortality. The place where life and death lie separated by the thinnest of gossamer strands. That's a lot of words to say yes, babe. It's your decision, Noah. Join us. Good choice, fella. You won't regret it. I'll meet you back at your HQ. And, yes, I already know where it is. Scouting out hidden places is sort of a specialty of mine. Hell, I probably would have raided the place if I didn't run into you just now. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I was pathetic. You thought you could beat me with that flimsy little toy? Destroyed. No! My top! If you want revenge, then you better get good. Not that you'll ever have the skills to outspin me. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. Rest in peace, Absolute Zero. What was that all about? I just got demolished at Bagoma, that's what. And worse still, that guy smashed my top to pieces. Poor Zero. The little guy was always there for me, through thick and thin. Hold on. What's... Big Goma. Huh? Why? Are you looking to spin with the rest of us? Uh, maybe. I am a little curious. Then you should go see the spin doctor. His mansion's up this way. Dr. Cork will teach you everything there is to know about throwing down at Big Goma. I'm heading there too, so I can avenge Zero. See you around, maybe. Ah, if it isn't our newly minted Spinadier! I bid you welcome, Noah. Newly minted what now? Spinadier, of course. Under my tutelage, you will challenge mighty foes and reveal the deeper truths of the Begoma top. Oh, indeed. A Begoma duel is no less than a clash of human wills. When you spin a top, its inexplicable movements are a manifestation of the Spinadier's own will. Essentially, the top is expressing the very trajectory of life. Um... You really think these little tops have that kind of power? Let me put it this way. You are a man beset by all sorts of daily fears and worries, yes? A top can dispel those concerns. How, you ask? Because the top is an embodiment of your innermost will. My innermost will? Now, select your favorite top from those three variety. Then, you will throw yourself into a Begoma duel, a clash of violent passions that will demonstrate your inner strength to Okay, got it. Are you messing with us, Noah? As soon as I saw the tops, I could sense they contained a mysterious power. And that is why you are destined to walk the path of a Spinadier. 
I present to you three choices. A fire top, a water top, and a wind top. Select your first partner. I choose the fire top. Ah! So it's burning passion that drives you. An excellent choice. So now what? First, you should give your new partner a name. A token of... A name, huh? Let's go with... World Peace. Ho, 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 ho. Very nice. Now, for your first duel. And a... Ha! <laughs> I knew... Oh, it's you again. The names read... A fellow... And you're just in time. Ready? My pleasure. I have no... Well, I guess he did just... But I'm ready to give it a spin and see what my heart has to say. That's the spirit. Let's do this. But just so you know, I've carefully calculated every angle of attack. You wish nothing is... Then prepare to witness the strength. Get ready, world peace. It's Bakoma time. Let's spin! stuff has a lot of depth to it. Oh, heck yeah! Can't expect a newbie like you to win his very first duel. Still, you put up a good fight. You ever want a rematch, just ask. What? I'm extremely busy, so if you want something, hurry it up or get out. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm looking for a healer to join up with us. Us who? Is this about the Alliance? But if you think you can say a few pretty words and get me to drop everything, forget it. I'm not... Meaning what? Bring me 15 healing herbs. Simple, right? If you can't handle a task like that, then you're not worth my time. Will these herbs cover you? Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. All right, fine. Wait there.
Make a tisane and give some to everyone, starting with the most seriously afflicted. <gasps> Look at this stack of herbs! It's enough to save everyone! How can we ever repay your kindness, Dr. Falward? You've been looking after all of us for so long. I could cry. Well, don't. Spare me the sentiment and distribute the medicine. The longer you dawdle, the worse their chances. Do you hear me? Yes, Doctor. This village has been flooded with refugees. Some wounded. But those herbs you brought will give them all a fighting chance. I accept your show of good faith, and I thank you for it. Then you'll join us? A promise is a promise. My services as a healer are yours and the Alliance's. Now, is that an invitation to be stupid and throw yourselves into danger? No. Needless heroism should be left. I can't bring back the dead. But if you have the good sense not to cast yourselves headlong... No. Doctor, thank you. You're so kind and generous. When I told you to rest, I didn't say, except for needless displays of gratitude, did I? Stop making your condition worse. Yikes. I'm a teleportation professional. Hey there, what are you in the market for today? Stalwart companions? Uh, I can check to see if we have some in back. Oh, you meant me. Okay, I'm interested. But you really gotta let me punch up your style game first. <laughs> Do you think this breastplate looks great on you? Oh, especially with this shirt here. Oh my gosh, look at you, that's perfect. Why not try on this armor too? Oh, definitely. This is so you. See, I knew there was a good looking guy buried under all that blah. All right, that settles it. I think I like you. So that's one stalwart companion at your service. And it just so happens I've been looking for a nice, quiet place to ply my trade anyway. Join us. All right, it is on. My name is Frida, and I'm your new armorer. I'll keep you safe in battle, and make sure you look damn good while I'm at it. There we go, my little friends. Grow up hale and hearty for me. Ah, oh, don't mind me. I was just tending these crops. Did you need something? Actually, I'm seeking out new recruits. Oh, you're from the Alliance? Well, I don't know the first thing about fighting. Don't care much to learn, neither. Work in the fields is all I know. Would that be of any help to you? I sure wouldn't mind having some land of my own. There's nothing I love more than seeing my veggie pals grow. Then come grow them for the Alliance. We have no shortage of bellies to fill. Oh, you don't say? Well, plants in a field is plant in the future, you know. War might be here, but folks don't stop needing to eat. Without a hearty bowl of grub, the war will be over before your troops even swing a sword. <laughs> I love it. That's... Shucks! 
Ain't no one's ever called me a poet. So, are you sure there's a place for me in the Alliance? Join us. Well, rightio. The name's Peter. Mighty glad to meet ya. I'll work those fields day and night to keep the bellies of all my new pals happy and full. Huh. Oh, spectacular, utterly spectacular. Where are my manners? My name is Kron, and I'm with the Achievement Society. Uh, our organization publicly recognizes those who have done remark. In fact, I am going to recognize your incredible achievement right now. Why, just watch how much fun this is. Here we go. Now, on behalf of the society, I'll be opening a branch office right here in town. I mean, who even knows what you'll accomplish next? Not me! All right, one perfect time. My, the Sparkle Stone! You have delivered it as promised! How... how beautiful! Just look at the way it sparkles! Quack! Uh, <clears throat> Might I take that from you? Sure, it's your... Quite right, quite right. And I, for my part, shall promptly begin making the necessary preparations to open an Alliance branch of my Emporium. Just... maybe after I've had time to savor these... sparkles a while longer. Yes... I assure you that when we next meet, I will be stocking a varied assortment of accessories, all of the finest quality. And many of them will be... so delightfully sparkly! All right. Is this the right... Huh. 
Ho oh there, friend. How's it going? Ah, this is a wheel I bream, all right. Well, it seems the currents of fate are flowing in your direction. I've let them guide me this far, but maybe it's time to stand firm and let the stream rush around me. I'm a man of my word, friend. My pole is yours. You have a place with us. Let us see where the waters carry us both. That's the grilled Tatsuva recipe! Oh, you delicious maniac! You tracked it down just for me! Oh, well, I suppose the war was due to find me eventually. Plus, this might even lead me to... Her Very well, I shall make for your headquarters so I might meet all of your culinary needs. You may call me Kurtz. If you need something cooked, sautéed, or braised, then buy bechamel, I swear it shall be done. Join us. Music to my stomach. I'm a teleportation professional. Can I help you, perhaps? Well then, 